Welcome to The Beacon Briefs. I'm Sean Schmore, the Assistant News Editor for The Beacon here at Wilkes. Here's what's happening. Wilkes University has proposed new budget cuts in an incentivized retirement program for the 2021 school year. The incentivized retirement program would be offered to faculty and staff who are 65 years and older and have been working for Wilkes for at least 10 years. The budget cuts include a 1% reduction in salary and a one-year reduction from 8% to 4% for the university's retirement contributions. Both the Faculty Affairs Council and the University Staff Advisory Committee plan to meet in February to talk about the proposed changes. In other news, Wilkes University recently received a grant from the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission. The grant is for, is for the conservation and digitization of the 1972 Agnes Flood-related material. The $4,839.85 grant includes money for supplies and outsourcing digitization to Backstage Works and Media Preserve, LLC. The project is overseen by Susanna Caliph, arch archivist and public services librarian in the Farley Library. Student Affairs in Wilkes University's Health and Wellness Services addressed a false report that the 2019 coronavirus was present on campus. Student Affairs confirmed the report was false and assured students that if such reports were to come, were to come out, they would be from the campus's messaging system and email. Health and Services reminded students that the best way to prepare against the current coronavirus is to take care of yourselves the same way you would during this flu season. To stop the spread of germs, students should cover their mouth, dispose of tissues, wipe down equipment after use in the gym, and wash their hands thoroughly. Students and members of the community are encouraged to get a flu shot if they have not already. Thanks for checking in, guys. That's all I have for today. I'm Sean Schmoyer, and this is Beacon Briefs. Now let's get back to the studio.